Police say a mother intentionally poisoned her son with medicine. Fox 2's Paul Shankman is live in Clayton with a look at this case and everything that's going on with it now. Hi, Paul. Hi, Vic. Hi, Mandy. The mother being charged in this case lives in Meadville, Missouri. That's about 220 miles northwest of St. Louis. But she had been coming to St. Louis to have her son treated at St. Louis Children's Hospital. He is nine years old and has epilepsy. Now, 35 year old Rachel Kinsella is being charged with endangering the welfare of a child. That's a felony. According to court records, doctors believe she was intentionally poisoning her son through a combination of two prescription medications. The child was taken into protective custody in late January of this year while the investigation was conducted. The situation was brought to the attention of law enforcement by doctors at St. Louis Children's Hospital. But according to the charging documents, the mother was also having her son treated at Children's Mercy Hospital of Kansas City. And neither hospital knew about the involvement of the other, which the court records say was intentional. When he'd come to the hospital, he was in serious condition because of the overdose. Well, now he wasn't, while he was in the hospital, wasn't getting overdosed. Uh, so he was getting the treatment and the proper uh, dosage and administration and timing and everything else that he should be getting, and he would get better from the, from the overdose condition. Well, we deny all the allegations that have been made against her. Uh, Rachel wants her son back, and she's been dealing with that through a juvenile case, and now that we have the criminal case, we're prepared to fight the good fight. Why was she going to two different hospitals? She was trying to get the best care she could for her son. When Kinsella would come to St. Louis, she would stay in an apartment in the 7400 block of Grant Village in South County. Residents we spoke with there today had no recollection of seeing her or her son, but were having a hard time trying to understand why a mother would want to poison her son. That has led some to speculation that this could be a case of Munchausen by proxy, in which a mother deliberately makes her child ill so she can get attention. Again, this is something her defense attorney vehemently denies. The charging documents say the mother admits to having accidentally given her son the wrong medicine on, quote, an occasion. The boy is now living with his paternal grandparents and is said to be thriving with no lasting effects from the medication issue. Kinsella turned herself in this morning and has been held here in the St. Louis County Jail on a $50,000 bond, but we understand that she has posted 10% of that bond and is expected to be released any time now.